Hey guys, welcome back to No Catchy Name. This is episode 11. I'm Ella. Uh, welcome back to all of my previous subscribers. I'm trying not to say old because that's kind of rude. <laughs> but um, welcome back to all the previous people and welcome to all the new ones. Uh, I've been steadily growing the last, you know, the whole time I've been doing it. <laughs> and um, it's pretty cool to see that I'm going to grow up. I'm in the 180s right now, like 183 I think, which is awesome. But um, let's just get started. Again, I say this every video, but this probably isn't going to be that long because I really don't have, I don't have anything new. Everything's from last week. Well, other than acquisitions. <laughs> but my son is napping. I don't know if you'll be able to see it, but I just laid him down. He fell asleep on the couch and I moved him to his bed so I could film. But hopefully he'll sleep for the duration of this video. Um, I don't think there's anything important I have to say. I don't think so. So we'll go right into finished objects. The first thing I finally finished that I've been working on for a hundred years. What was that noise? I heard a noise. Is my Rydell High Square for my grease blanket. I hate red and white at the moment because this took forever and it's only red and white. And the next part of the blanket is red and white. But, and you'll see that in a minute. But this one, I feel like I worked on it for like three weeks, but I didn't really get to work on it a lot. Most of it was, you know, just a few rolls while he was sleeping or, you know, something like that. But it's, oh, my phone's making noises. Let me turn it off. It's, um, it's kind of hard to get into, you know, to do that when he's awake, when Jesse's awake, my son. Because it's, you know, I have to carry this box around me with the bobbins and stuff in it. And I can't really do that with him because he sees the balls. And he'll say, ball, ball. And he'll try to grab them because he likes, he likes stuff like that. But So I don't really work on my grease blanket, my uh, corner to corner, unless uh, he's asleep or not here. Like, usually his grandparents, uh, Devin's parents, or dad and stepmom, watch him a Friday or Saturday so usually that's the day when I work a lot on that and that's actually how I got that done they watched him last Saturday I think and I finished that but I didn't even start this the, not the, uh, blah, 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 the next one until like yesterday I started it while he was napping alright that was long okay I forgot to describe it though <laughs> the white on that is Red Heart Super Saver White the red is Walmart's mainstays brand red which is working pretty good I mean it's basically Red Heart Super Saver I did notice that the red has like a weird tinge to it. Like I don't even know how to describe it, but it's like, I don't know. It's just weird like tinge. I don't know if you can see it. Or it's probably blown out because I have a lot of windows in here and they're all open because I like natural light. It's just a weird tinge. <laughs> okay, my next finished object is kind of like halfway finished, but this part of it is finished and it's, it's I didn't even finish. Oh, I don't know why I'm rushing. Grease Blanket is a crochet along that's paid for pattern uh, by Chaos and Chop Suey. She's got a Facebook group and a blog and an Etsy and everywhere you can find her. <laughs> a, a, um, Instagram. Uh, yeah, and I'm really far behind. I think I'm like six weeks behind, but you know, it's not like a timed one. It's just they get a new a new square gets released every week, and I'm just that far behind. <laughs> Anyways, on to the next one. My frog. His little toes are crazy because. I don't know, they're just frog toes. And there's like this weird little loop that I missed that I gotta fix, but I'll fix that. He's he's in like a crouching position because he will be sitting on a pumpkin when he's done. But the frog himself is done. And he's just, he's made with um, Red Heart Super Saver Glow Worm, I think is it, what it's called. This is Red Heart, but I can't remember the name of it, and that's just black and white. And then his spots, he's got some on the front. Most, most of them on the back. Those are Red Heart Super Saver Spring Green. This is all scraps. Every bit of him is scraps. <laughs> and I'm really just trying to use up my scraps making little things that I, I will either want to keep or will give to someone. Might possibly start making stuff to maybe have some kind of sale next year, but I don't know. I don't want the pressure of having to have so many things done and the anxiety that comes with sitting there waiting for people to buy stuff. I think that would drive me crazy. But this pattern is, uh, it's called Frog on a Pumpkin by Mary Smith on Ravelry, and her name's, um, she's made by Mary. She, I always do her cows, if you've been watching me, you know that I do her cows <laughs> every time she has one. 
um, this is like a Halloween thing. He'll be sitting on a pumpkin, and then he has, I guess she, will have a witch's hat with a little spider hanging off of it. And when, when he or she, <laughs> when he gets done, I'm going to put it in my living room as a decoration. Right now I have a ghost in it, in there that I made, and another thing that I made that I don't think I can talk about yet, because I was testing the pattern, and I'm going to wait till she talks about it on her videos, and the her I'm referring to is Lucy Coates, which will be linked below. <clears throat> and then when she talks about it, I guess I can talk about it. But anyway, back to the frog. <laughs> He's 100% done, and he was really fun. I enjoyed making him, and I already have plans to make another one. I thought he would be cute in, like, a, a dark orange color with brown spots, or vice versa, like, brown color with orange spots. I oh, just, I like him. I like to make more. Jesse loves him, because Jesse's favorite thing in the world right now is cars and frogs. So he loves the frogs. I can't let him play with it, though, because he picks at the, um, sewed on parts, and I'm afraid he's going to pick them off. <laughs> Because he's peeling off this cheek and he had it off pretty good. But I'm, I might not have sold it on that well. I'm working on the pumpkin right now, which you'll see in whips. That's all my finished objects, I'm pretty sure. I still haven't finished my s'more. I haven't even worked on it since last time. The s'more, which Randy finished one. Right? Yeah, Randy finished one. Um, this is my s'more. <laughs> it's still just graham crackers and chocolate. Uh, it is by Donna Beaver. She's been making a ton of these. I don't know how to say the word. It's like kawaii or something like that. I don't know. But I want to finish it. I don't know why. I just haven't. I just haven't picked it up. I wanted to make the frog. I had to finish his body parts. And I was every time Jesse's napping the last few days, I've been working on the grease blanket and then this new square of the grease blanket and also something else. But. This is going to be really cute when it's done, and I can't wait for it to get done because s'mores is a huge thing in our family because they're sentimental. I made a Christmas ornament, too, that you'll see when it gets Christmas time. Which, speaking of Christmas, today, I'm going to chop that behind y'all. Today, we went and laid away a Christmas tree. This will be the first Christmas tree that we owned together, which is exciting because the last few Christmases, we always had, like, a borrowed tree from my sister or someone, a little, like, four foot tree but we laid away a uh, seven and a half foot really pretty tree that I can't wait to get out and decorate and I'm the kind of person who like November is Christmas <laughs> I do do the um, Thanksgiving you know the American Thanksgiving obviously uh, but and it's, it's an important thing but you know we use it more as just a time to get together and have dinner together as a family which we, we usually do it at my sister's but for reasons I don't really want to talk about <laughs> Or we've been doing them at my mom's. Uh, it was my sister, her family, my brother, his family, me and Devin and Jesse, and then my mom and stuff. And um, I don't know. We just go there and have dinner. You know, think like typical American Thanksgiving dinner, turkey and all that stuff, and hang out. And then Christmas <laughs> the next day. <laughs> but I will probably, in all honesty, I'll probably start decorating for Christmas sometime in November, way earlier than Thanksgiving, which. I don't exactly know. Thanksgiving this year will probably be like the 22nd to the 24th, somewhere around there, I think. Something like that. Anyways, back to what I was talking about. What was I talking about? S'more. I done said who made the s'more. And it's made with Red Heart Super Saver also. I think the cracker is made out of buff. And the chocolate is made out of... It's Red Heart with love. It's either chocolate or coffee or something like that. It's, it's a brown color. <laughs> Alright, the next whip I've been working on is in my Snappy Tots bag, which I think is ugly. I loved it before I put the pocket on there, and then I don't know, the pocket just... I wish I'd made the pocket one of these colors, like the handle. But I still love the bag, and I would like to make another one. I need to do that. Oops. I need to do that because I really like it, and it's a good little project bag. I wonder if there's a way I could mess with the pattern. I'm sure there is. I make it like a drawstring. That'd be cool. But I'm making it. I don't remember what this yarn is called and it may just have blown out really bad. This isn't acrylic 100%. This is acrylic mixed with some kind of wool. It's really itchy. I don't like it at all. I bought it forever ago at a local yarn store that's closed now and I don't remember the name of it. But I've been using it for just little random projects to get rid of it because it's uncomfortable. <laughs> and um, I'm working on the pumpkin. I just started this yesterday and I only got I was increasing still when I guess I think Jesse woke up or was hungry or something because I can do little projects like this 
sitting on the couch watching him play or something or sometimes like on my shawl that I'm making I will stand up with it on our mantle which we don't have actual mantle but it's like a shelf above in that hole in the wall between the kitchen and the living room <laughs> I don't know what that's called but there's like a shelf on it and we call it our mantle and that's really where our stockings will probably be hung Christmas time but we refer to it as the mantle and so I'll stand there with my yarn on the mantle and crochet while standing so that just you won't bother me too bad but this is all I got done with the pumpkin so far and I'm like I'm excited about it I wish I had a more pumpkin-y color like a not fluorescent but this bright goes with the frog so the frog is really bright I do have pumpkin yarn uh, that's actually called pumpkin by Red Heart but it's I'm saving it for my grease blanket because I'm not sure I mean it won't take much but it calls for that and I want to make sure I have the right color for that and then you know it's just gonna be a fluorescent frog on a fluorescent pumpkin <laughs> but yeah I just got it stuffed down in here and also got the color I'm gonna make the hat with the pattern it's purple but I'm gonna make it brown and then there's scraps of where I made his spots and his eyeballs down in there and a pair of scissors and it's got the pockets on there which is cool but I, I used the pockets when I was making the frog. I had his legs and his spots and his face features stuffed down in the pockets. <laughs> but right now they're empty. Alright. The, the pumpkin comes along with the frog pattern, so it's the same exact, you know, it's all together. Alright, my next whip is my shawl for the shawl along. This is the shawl along hosted by Hannah at the Cozy Cottage, Cozy Cottage Crochet. It, she's hosting on her rivalry group, but she also has a, um, YouTube channel. <laughs> she's really cool. She's down in Florida. Now she wasn't affected too bad by the hurricanes, which is awesome. Um, she, they were keeping contact with her through the, on the rivalry group, which was neat. So you know, keeps people from worrying about her. Uh, anyways, the shawl is called the Naturally Southern Scarf by Kathy Lashley. I think it's Lashley. It's L Ashley. <laughs> And it's okay. Hannah's crochet along is called the September shawl one. Anyways, this is what I got so far. Last time I did put a thing here. Last time it was this long, and then this is how much I've gotten. It's all crinkled <laughs> since. Finally got into the pretty greens. These green colors is why I love. These green colors is these green colors are are right. I don't know. These green is why I like <laughs> the uh, mandala. Genie. I love this. It's like a minty green, I guess, and the grays. I just think it goes good together, and the white goes with just about anything. This is working up extremely quickly, and if I could sit and work on it, I could probably get it done in no time at all. Let me check on to see if us right where I left him. <laughs> because it's the exact same repeat each round. The only thing you change is on the part that curves this side, is you increase every round. So like you, you do like this row is just double crochet all the way across. And then when you chain two and come across, you do a couple double crochet, double crochets at the end in the first two, and then you chain one double crochet. Well, chain one, skip one double crochet all the way back this way until you get to the end, and then you increase in the last one. And that's what gives it the curviness of the side that you know will be able to wrap around your body. I love this, and I really like this pattern, and I'm probably I want to get. Um, Probably another mandala, one of the darker colorways like wizard or warlock, whatever it's called, centaur, one of those darker ones with browns and stuff in it for my mom because she likes dark colors and make her this exact same thing but in that color because I think she'd like it and it's super, super, super duper quick pattern like I can get a ton of it done if I can just sit and do it. I'm hoping that'll be done soon and then I might start the other one, get the yarn and start it and also enter it into the shawl along because she is letting you enter as many as you want. The, the only rule she has is that you had to have started after September, September 1st or after that. So she doesn't mind if you double dip or however many times dip you want to other cows and all that stuff. It's really cool. I can't wait and I hope I win a prize. <laughs> of course everybody wants to win a prize. Speaking of prizes, I want to have a giveaway on my channel soon. Just slip that in there. <laughs> uh, my last, no not my last. Second to the last whip is my next part of the grease blanket. I'm take my hook. I'm trying not to lose my thing. This is like a pant, like a banner part of it. This will go across the entire length of the blanket, 
with a little blanket. That's a G, or it will be, <laughs> when I get done with it. And it, it's going to be really long, you know, it's going to be as wide as the whole blanket. It's going to say Grease Lightning. And Red and White, that's why I hate Red and White, because I'm using all the same bobbins from the other square. And then after this, I hope there's no more solid Red and White squares. Which there probably shouldn't be, because I'd be way too much Red and White. But, um, it's really long. I don't know how wide mine's going to be, because mine seems to be turning out way bigger than everybody else's but it's going to be a big blanket and that's going to be the whole length of it but it's you know it's not very wide so hopefully, I'm thinking it won't take forever it's going to be kind of like a scarf looking thing when it gets done but I just started that either yesterday or the day before that but it's again it's part of the grease cow so all the stuff I said earlier goes for that too <laughs> and the last whip that I have is I was going to follow a pattern by Red Heart it's just to make little bats like appliques that I was just gonna hang like bunting from underneath our TV. Our TV's mounted. And then I thought about hanging some somewhere back here. But I don't like their pattern. It's like you start off with eight double crochet and then you double crochet increase each one and then you double crochet increase each one of those. So you turn out you come out with thirty two but it's like it bows because it's double crochets and you're increasing way too quickly. So I'm I'm probably gonna rip this out and like do the thing Kind of like that, but I'm just going to increase like a hat until it gets the size I want and then do their wing pattern. That's probably what I'll do. But I want to make like probably eight or ten of those little bats to hang up from pennants. And I decided to make them purple just because I thought they would be more noticeable purple than black. Especially since our TV is black, so they'd blend other than their little eyeballs, which I will make out of white, obviously. Maybe yellow with the purple, that would look cool. Yellow with like black pupils. That's all my whips. I want to start more things. Like I'm, I'm really like on in an amigurumi kick right now. I want to make more. Like I want to make some Christmas decorations. I got a couple that I made last year. A uh, little elf by Mary. Actually, I think that's the only Christmas one I made last year. What else? I made a bunny and a bird. An elf. I don't remember. I feel like I made another Christmassy type thing, but I can't think of it right off my head. I'll pull it out in a month or two and decorations and see. I'm looking at my notes. I have them all scribbled up today. I usually do it on my computer, but I'm trying to hurry because he was getting sleepy when I was getting ready to, because I always try to like pre-plan, <laughs> even though I still end up messing up things. But, okay. Let's go on to the upcoming. I'll talk about acquisitions in a minute. Upcoming, I have a couple of projects other than the Christmas ones I was just mentioning and the, the um, uh, Halloween decoration things. Also, I found it, I seen it on blah, blah, blah. I, I need to slow down. I found a pattern on Pinterest, I think. I just seen it. I didn't click on it, so I don't know if it's free or not. But it's of like a crocheted spider web, like to hang in corners of rooms and stuff that I thought would be pretty neat to make and hang in the corner of the room, you know, living room. We live in an apartment, so we can't really decorate the outside of our house for Halloween or anything, you know. So we've been decorating our living room. <laughs> we have Halloween lights hanging up in there. The light itself, they look like Christmas lights, but the little bulb is orange and yellow. It kind of looks like candy corn. And they have this really cool orange glow to them. And I'll leave them on all day. For me, Jesse, you know, I love, I'm the kind of person who just loves hol or holiday, holiday decorations. And we got, I got some candy corn trays and some, uh, window clings of like little ghosts and things and that's so nostalgic. My mom used to always buy those little things you stick on the window. Ours are up higher so Jesse can't get them. But then you know I just want to decorate the living room because that's where our company will see. And we won't be here on Halloween night to hand out candy because we'll be out trigger treating with our son. So I don't really need to decorate the outside and have people think that we're giving out candy when we're not. But um, anyways, I didn't forget where I was going with this. I was talking about the lights I guess. <laughs> Uh, upcoming projects, and this is about Halloween, is for Devin's costume that's going to go with Iris, so I can't say what it is, because I'm keeping it a secret. I need to make him a hat, and I don't think I have all the right colors, but it's, it's a fairly simple hat, and there's a few parts of it, uh, other parts of his costume that I can crochet, and it's just simple things that I can do that won't, shouldn't take too long, so it's okay if I procrastinate that a little bit. The other thing is Christmas decorations that I already mentioned. I'd like to make some more Christmas ornaments because I only have a few that I've actually made. I have the s'more. I have something else. I can't remember what it is. 
And I have some like little hearts and things that I made forever ago when I was just learning to make stuff. And like I, you know, you some of these patterns get burned in your brains. So you can do them anytime. Like the little Christmas hearts that you can hang on a tree. I made a bunch of those last Christmas at my in-laws because before we moved into the town that we lived in now, we would come and stay the night on Thanksgiving night and Christmas night so that we could be with them for Thanksgiving and Christmas. Um, I would bring just yarn and a hook and make a bunch of little hearts because it was just imprinted on my brain. And I've given a bunch to them and to um, my sister and stuff. Anyways, I wanted, I was thinking about trying to start making some stuff in preparation for next year for if I did want to do some kind of craft fair because my city does have a lot of craft fairs one in particular that's huge I can't even do next year's because the booths are already full is Earth Day uh, my city does a huge Earth Day event where it's just a bunch of vendors and stuff and it's also awareness of you know environment stuff <laughs> uh, you know recycling and all that stuff and um, it's really cool we, we've been to the last they've only had three and we've been to all three years or they've had two and we've been to all two. We've been to all of them since it started. And it's always on the weekend of Earth Day. Because it's not always on a Sunday or whatever. I don't think. <laughs> but, um. Like one year I went, I wasn't pregnant. Yeah, so there's been three. Because one year I was just normal me. And then the next year I was. Uh. Eight months pregnant. Eight and a half months pregnant. I was almost ready to have him. And then this year we went with him in a stroller. It was just neat that, you know. We did all those different times. I need to start bringing a drink over here because I think that's why my throat gets all wonky. The next things that I want to start working on, this is part of my acquisitions, but I will talk about that in just a second, is I want to start making my own stitch markers because I love having the cute ones. Like, I love the polymer clay ones, but they're kind of expensive. I mean, I know that those people's talents are worth that, and I would totally buy them and not complain about it if I just had the extra money in my spending budget to buy them, but... Usually when I have my spending budget and like when I look at how I can make my own, I don't want to spend like $7 for a stitch marker and then 3 or $4 shipping when I can spend that same amount and make my own, a bunch of them. They're just not polymer clay because I'm not that talented. But like here's one that I made. And I gotta figure out how to fix this little thing right there because I'm afraid it'll stick on the yarn. I don't know if that's, you can see that. <laughs> but this is just beads from Walmart. All this is from Walmart. It's just jewelry making stuff that I've put together my stitch marker. This one is a little cookbook with a little um, like a tray of cookies and a whisk on a lobster claw. I like them when they jingle. Like when I'm crocheting and I can hear it jingle. It's just satisfying. <laughs> and then I made this one. That's just a little spoon. Ah, little spoon with just some little beans up there just to pretty it up. But I bought a bunch of stuff out of my fair money for getting my ribbons and it'll be in the acquisitions and I also bought some stuff for sewing that will also be my acquisitions which is about to pop up actually I'm gonna try to put it on the screen while I talk and I don't know how that's gonna work out but we will see and if it works out you'll see it if it doesn't you won't <laughs> you'll see it afterwards first I got this iron it's a cheap brand iron so maybe it'll work <laughs> Then I got some fat quarters. These are in hopes to make project bags. These I would use for liners. Then I got, this is the stitch marker stuff. I got some rings, lobster claws. I got two things of lobster claws. Then I got some thread for my sewing machine because I don't think I had any black thread. And then I just bought these beads because I thought they'd be pretty stitch markers. They're very pretty. I got some new scissors because I don't know if I have any fabric on my scissors. <laughs> these are just the trinkets that I bought to make stitch markers out of. Uh, these are more fat quarters that are Halloween themed. And even if I don't get them done by Halloween, I will still use them anytime because they're cute. Then I got some more Red Heart white because I always need white and black. <laughs> and then I got two more of the Red Heart stripes, uh, bright stripe. And then next, I got some ribbons to make drawstring bags with, hopefully. Uh, sewing machine needles. I hope these work. I don't know much about sewing machines. We'll see. <laughs> these beads were on clearance, and I just thought they were pretty. They were only a dollar. And I thought I could make stitch markers or something with them. That's all my acquisitions. I hope I did that right. If I was just staring this way and talking throughout that, I didn't 
edit it correctly. <laughs> but if it was on top of me and you could still hear me talking and then I edited it okay. But I'll get better at it, I hope. I'm trying hard to learn how to edit it better. Just because eventually I'd like to make other types of videos, even if it's a stupid bug. <laughs> even if it's on another uh, channel. Because I'm interested in things other than yarn. Obviously, as most people are. I mean, I love yarn. <laughs> and yarn related things. But there's other things I'm interested in that I'd like to make videos about eventually. So I do have a pretty decent editing software that we bought and I'm trying to learn how to use it better. And what's cool is with that editing software, um, there's a YouTube channel out there out there somewhere <laughs> that is a guy who makes videos for that software so that you, he like walks you through step by step everything. So that's really neat. But I'm trying to learn all this stuff and get it embedded in my brain. I do have all that stuff just in a clear this is the stitch marker stuff. This, I don't even know. My sister gave me this thing. I don't, I'm don't. i not sure what originally came in it. But it's cool. No, actually, this. I think this came with my husband's toolbox. I think he had two of these with a toolbox, and my sister gave me pink ones. I think that's what it is. And the pink ones has some buttons in it and my safety eyes, and it's in that closet back there. That closet's full of my craft stuff. It was supposed to be for washer and dryer, but since we don't have one, I just got all my craft stuff in there. Except my yarn. It's in my sundrum. Anyways, I think that's about everything right now. <laughs> Um, I realize I babble and sidetrack a lot and I'm trying to get better at that, but I'm going to stop for just a second and check my card. Alright, I did have to stop that because I was almost out of time. For some reason my camera only lets me film 28 minutes in a row and then cuts out and it was at 2 minutes and something left so I thought I'd better restart it before it. I'm sitting here talking forever and it, it, it's not recording. But, okay, that's all the yarn related, craft related, all that jazz. So now life. I think I'm going to start putting some life stuff in there because I love all the people I watch. on All the podcasters, YouTube people I watch. I love learning about their yarn stuff, but I also love learning about them and like becoming friends with them. And I'm sure some of y'all enjoy that too. So if you don't like hearing about my life, you can leave now. Thank you for watching. <laughs> like and comment if you have any questions and all that. And subscribe if you're not. <laughs> but if you do like that kind of stuff, uh, I'll talk about it for just a second. Today is Thursday, and Thursdays is the day that me and Jesse get out and do most of our errands and grocery shop and things like that. My husband gets paid on Thursdays, which I kind of I like because not a lot of people do, so it's easier to go in down stores. I like going early in the morning, as early as I can, because that's when meat and things are marked down at stores, and I can get into some things early before crowds. I'm just that kind of person. You know, normally, you know, pre- Pre having an adult life, I would want to sleep all the time, which is great. I love sleep. <laughs> but um, anyways, it's Thursday. Me and Jesse get out this morning. It's still rainy and gloomy. I don't know if it's from the hurricanes or if it's just because it's rainy and gloomy. It is supposed to clear up, though. It's been in like the 50s and 60s and 70s over the last two weeks. And then tomorrow is supposed to start being back in the 80s for a little while, I hope, and then go back to being cool because I love the cool weather. I'm hoping summer's over, <laughs> but um, we went out this morning and we went grocery shopping and we came back and woke Devin up because he goes, he works second shift and then we went and ran some more errands with him because some errands are easier with another adult so that I don't have to get Jesse in and out of the car a million times and I had to mail off my grease hook, my crochet hook for my grease uh, crochet long because it was messing up like it was peeling off and the woman who made it it's like Chloe Becky Boutique, I think. Something like that. She said, you know, that she was sorry that it was messing up and that I could send it back to her and she'd fix it or send me a new one. So that's great. It only costs like $3 to mail it back, so I'm not too concerned about it. <laughs> so I mailed that off today and I can't wait to get it back because I miss it. <laughs> I'm having to use a different hook. I can't remember if it's a... Yeah, it's my frog hook, I think. It's an H hook, so it doesn't really matter which hook I use. But I've been using my frog hook on it. So cute. I love those polymer clay hooks, but I don't like the ergonomic ones. They have to be, I can't remember what they call them. Slim? I think they call them slim. Because I hold my hook really weird when I crochet. I've never seen anyone do it. Like when I crochet, I stick my hook in. I use the yarn on this hand. So I move the hook from this hand to this hand. Wrap it around. Put it back in this hand. Pull it through. I move my hook between two. There's a word for that too. I found it one day. People who crochet knit that switch their hands back, and, their hook back and forth. There's a term for that, but I can't remember what it is. But I don't know why. I, you know, if some people crochet like that or like that, I don't know. I've tried. I've tried so hard to learn to crochet the normal way, and I have to do that thing. 
and I cannot control the yarn with my left hand. It has to be in my right hand or it doesn't come out right at all. But I don't think it matters how you crochet as long as the project comes out the way it's supposed to or close to it, you know. And all my projects do come out. The only thing I notice is like some things, the way I crochet it like hats and stuff, I crochet them inside out. So like normally when it says the right side facing something way, because the way I crochet it's the opposite way. When it, the pattern says the right side's facing, it's the left, the wrong side for me. But you know, I've learned that in my time of crocheting, so I, all I have to do is like invert things. Like amigurumi heads and stuff, I just have to invert them. And then, like things like that frog, when I go to decrease, I, I invert it. I said that a lot. <laughs> and then I de decrease it from there. Anyways, that was random. Back to life. Uh, Jesse did go to the doctor the other day, and I meant to tell y'all uh, his stats. He's an average on average, actually above average, because he's big. He is 35-ish pounds. We didn't get an exact reading because they put him on the stand-up one like adults use. And, you know, he's a toddler. He was, like, moving around. And once he realized, you know, they're kind of springy, them old-timey ones with the thing that moves back and forth. He was, like, jumping on it. So it kept fluctuating, but they, they just guessed it, guesstimated at 35, which is heavy for a 16-month-old. And he is 36 and a half inches. So he's three foot tall, which is crazy because he's... he's more than half of my height and he's not even two years old i think he's gonna be really tall but his dad is tall and his grandpa's huge so he's just gonna be a big boy <laughs> he's learning everything it's crazy to watch him learn stuff and i think he's finally getting to the point where he will fall asleep doing random things like you see people take videos of kids falling asleep while eating i think he's getting to that because he's fallen asleep recently on the couch twice without any help he did it today actually. Uh, I changed his diaper and I told him all done which is usually what when I say that he'll say it and then he'll get up and start playing. He didn't get up and I didn't think anything of it because he's watching TV and I came in here and was making those stitch markers and then I was like well you know it's one o'clock-ish and I was like well I'm gonna go get him a bottle ready and because he's probably gonna be tired and I got the bottle and by the time I went to the living room I looked over and he's still laying there and I walked around where I could see his face and he was asleep and I was like what the heck. So, and I didn't want to leave him laying there because I knew I was going to film and I didn't want to wake him up talking. So, I picked him up and like patted him. He woke up a little bit and I just patted him, went and laid him in his bed and he's, he's still asleep. I don't know when exactly he fell asleep, but I think it's just so cute that he's starting to fall asleep on his own without me helping him. It got really gloomy. I don't know if it got dark, but it looks like it's going to rain. Any other life things? Uh, tomorrow is my sister-in-law's birthday. That's not huge. She's only 14 because she's, you know, I mean, Devin's, Devin's younger than me. <laughs> uh, we always make cougar jokes. He's, he's only like four and a half years younger than me, so it's not a big deal. But, um, I don't think anything important's coming up lately, anytime soon. It's September, right? Yeah. No holidays. <laughs> the next holidays, well, Halloween, I guess. I mean, you know, those little crappy holidays in between, it don't really mean anything, but. We're kind of getting ready for Halloween. We got our costumes and we're going to be working on Devin's soon. And then, then the next big thing will be Thanksgiving and then Christmas. <laughs> but um, I don't know what we'll do for Thanksgiving this year. Probably my mom's. So I'll probably make some kind of snack. I usually make sweets. I'm the sweet maker. I used to make candy all the time when I was a teenager. Like hard candy and suckers and chocolates and stuff. And I'm big on cookies. Everybody used to be making cookies or bark, which is chocolate with stuff like nuts and pretzels mixed in with it and flattened out. So I'll probably make something like that for Thanksgiving. Turkeys or something. Anyways, I'm babbling now and Jesse's twitching around a little bit. I can see him on the camera. But I guess that's everything. There's no major life updates. Other than, oh, my, my stepdad's doing better. He is still taking antibiotics. He has to go every day to do antibiotic treatments. He has to sit in a chair, kind of like um, chemo. I remember my dad was taking chemo. You know, he sat there forever, a lot of drip through you. Uh, that, but it's antibiotics. And I guess he's getting better. I mean, I haven't heard a lot of updates. He's not getting worse, so it could be worse, I guess. Anyways, I'm babbling now, and I need to, to go and uh, get up all the links and stuff for the bottom of the video. Uh, leave any comments if you have any or questions. and. Uh, follow, you know, friend me on Ravelry. It'll be linked below. I have a Ravelry group now. I always think I say that word wrong. Ravelry. And I have an Instagram if you'd like to follow me on there. I love Instagram. I do use it often. <laughs> Not always, every day, but often. 
and I do share a lot of giveaways I find so if you want to enter giveaways follow me on there because every time I see any giveaway related to um, yarn or crochet of anything even knitting stuff I enter because you know yarn is still yarn and I, I do enter a lot of uh, what's it called cross stitch because if I win it I can give it to my sister <laughs> but I actually won a giveaway the other day but it was it wasn't anything craft related it was reusable snack bags for kids <laughs> I should be getting those soon, actually. I'm excited about that because Jesse likes to carry around. I call them his chips, but they're veggie straws. They're like a healthier version of chips. I was giving him those in like a baggie, but now, I'm, you know, when he gets his reusable little bags, it's got like animals and stuff on it. He can carry them around, and he likes to eat them out of that bag. It's just it's really cute because he's tiny, and it's just cute. <laughs> Anyways, I'm going to go now because now I'm just babbling, and I've done that like a hundred times. But I will see you guys next Friday, and I'll have some finished objects and maybe some more work works in progress whoops <laughs> but my ghost is getting really gloomy and it might storm i will see you all next friday i already said that i'm repeating myself oh my gosh <laughs> i'm leaving now because i'm gonna keep messing up but i uh, hope you guys are all good and well and all that fun stuff and i will see you next friday bye